Welcome back to the action here on Streaming Board 1. And after a, a bit of a delay in play, I'm sure you've been enjoying the action over on Stream 2 with Dan Dawson, but you rejoin me, Chris Murphy, here for the third round and a meeting between the number one seed, Ian White, and the German number one, Max Hopp, playing for a place in the last 16 of the last Players' Championship event of 2019. And Max Ian's Hopp throw for the ball. used to have an incredibly good record against Ian White, but 25. the tide seems to have turned for Diamond White. He was 25. Unable to beat Max Hopp in any of their first five meetings, but has now won the last three, including one at the World Match Play last 25. year. 25. One on the European Tour last year, and one in a Players' Championship quarter-final here in Barnsley last month. That was 6-3 to Diamond White. 25. Who has booked his place in round Bullseye. three today Max by virtue of wins against Ted Everts and David Van Barlen. Max the to throw first. latter going to a last leg decider. A far easier victory in the first round. He made it easy for himself because he averaged 108 against Ted Everts. 57. To win that match 6-1. He's rattled in 4-1-80s along the way. 180. He's rattled in 5-1-80s along the way. We have seen a nine-dart leg here in Barnsley today. Gerwin Price. Opening 135. The second round match with a perfect leg and then threatening it in the next leg, throwing 15 perfect darts. Ian White's spell at the start of this match 81. ends after four in the treble 20 bed. Max Hopp has to think here, three or nine. One hundred and forty. Max Hopp didn't think there. Because 139 would have left 170, oh, which he would have been able to take out. 140. White punishes the miscalculation. 137. Hop himself had 5180s and still has 5180s from his first couple of matches. 90. White wobbles on the outer ring. 100. Game shot. And Max Hop nails double 16 to take the first leg. He's enjoyed victories against Darius Labanauskas and Josh Payne. 6-0 the first, 6-4 the second, an average of 92 in both of those wins. 96. Consistent, but may have to raise that game to end the run of three straight defeats against Ian White. A rare slip into the five for Max Hopp. He is statistically the straightest thrower in the world. His darts stray into the segments next 139. door. 139. Less frequently than any other player. I'd like to land one next door to that. 180. Gives it a couple of next door neighbours. Taking his tally of maximums up to half a dozen for the day. 96. As it has been a little while since you've heard from me here on Stream 1, I will let you know which players have already made it through to the last 16. In fact, I'll do that at the end of this leg because Hopp has now fired in back-to-back -back 180s. Yeah, it could be denied the leg because White wants the ball. 
145. Well, it was not far away. And Max Game Holt shot. Breaks a throw, doubles his lead. Takes a step closer to the last 16 where Andy Jenkins is, having seen off Yellow Clarsen 6 3 on board to Peter Wright, continuing to play at a sublime standard. 6 5 is beaten Steve West. Steve West lost that match despite 99. averaging 105 and a half. Peter Wright averaged 109.6 in that. Superb 60. stuff from Snakebite. Mark McGinney through as well. He's beaten Adam Hunt 6 2. Aaron Monk also through to the last 16, the fourth round here. A 6 5 win for him against Andy Bolton. You may have witnessed on stream two Jeffrey Desvan beating Stephen Bunting to progress to the same stage. Gawin Price set a nine darter earlier. He's through to round four. A 6 2 win for him against Dirk van Dijvenboda. Chris Dobie, seen off Steve Beaton to book his place in the last 16, a 6-2 win for Hollywood. He's joined there by Darren Webster, who's whitewashed Christo Reyes. Johnny Clayton has whitewashed Barry Bates. 135. And the last couple of names that have made it that far are Cody Harris, a 6-2 winner against Germany's Gabriel Clements. And Jermaine Watermaner, a 6-1 winner against Wales' Jamie Lewis. 180. Whites. Second max of the match gets him back into contention in this leg. But Hop wants double eight. And game it is shot. 127 in game for Max Hop. And he's halfway. Five straight wins against White and then three straight defeats. But he's reeled off three straight legs. And this is. 180. Ridiculous starts from the pair of them. Ian White is averaging 122 when he hasn't got a leg on the board. That's because Max Hop is averaging 129 60. after three legs. Wayward one from White. Corrected. 125. Adjustment putting him in pole position in this leg. Fifty seven. We mentioned yesterday during the final that White has gone the full season. One hundred and forty. Without picking up a floor title. Despite being one of the top performers, one of the most consistent performers, as always, in these Players' Championship events. 60. It would be fitting if he were to win the last one, but he's given himself a bit of a mountain to climb against Max Hopp here. Game shot. But the hike has begun. 3-1, still averaging 123. We saw something quite remarkable from Peter Snakebite right yesterday, 123.5, the record 93. average in a live broadcast match when he whitewashed Christoph Ratajski. Can Ian White keep it up and threaten? 55. Nice point, just four legs in. 180. It's very easy for those averages to dip. That tra any trebleless turn will see a few points come off it, but Max Hopp is managing to raise his by virtue 60. of his third max. One hundred and forty. This is incredible. From Germany's number one. Fifty seven. Six. 
74. Eighty one choices for Max Hop. Game show straight shot. at it, straight in it. Highest average we've ever seen from Ian White at one of these players' championship events is one hundred and fourteen. That was just a matter of weeks ago when he beat Steve West in the semi-final 7-2 before going on to average 109 in the final but still losing it somehow hitting a 9 darter in it as well against Mensa Suljevic well, he's on course to average something similar perhaps even a record average for him here 140. and lose the match Highest we've seen from Max Hoff was back in April this year, 110 and a half. That is certainly well within the German sights. 60. A hat trick of ton 40s. One hundred and thirty-nine. Max Hop just stopping to make sure he left a finish just in case Ian White doesn't take out this eighty-one. Well, Ian White 49. offering up to Max Hop that he doesn't think he's gonna take out one six seven. Because a dart in the twelve segment would have guaranteed White a shot at the bullseye. White is right. 100. Now he has to get this bit right. 100. Game shot. And he does with the last start in hand. Could prove to be a crucial skin saving double that. Ninety-nine. Moving downstairs, looking for treble nineteen and finding it. A one seven seven start. Really turning up the heat on hop. One hundred and eighty. in the heat. Four maxes for the maximizer. Ninety seven. Surely five. One hundred and eighty. The second time in the match, Max Hopper's delivered back to back maximums. 180. In a leg which has seen Ian White record scores of 177 and a ton 80. Game shot. Simply sensational stuff from the pair of them. White on 47 after 9, but Hop goes out in 11. To lead 5 2. And he is well on course to smash his own personal 58. best of just over 110 on the Pro Tour. Max Hop goes into what he hopes will be the final leg, averaging 117. 100. Just a couple of years ago, people were starting to question whether Max Hop was going to. Disappear. Really did 100. suffer a spell in the darting doldrums. 
before rising himself to win that maiden PDC title in the German Open last year. Followed it up with a 132 win in Dublin and has started to become a bit of a contender. Semi finalist at the European Championship last year, up to 24th in the 97 main order of merits and doing a job on one of the most consistent players in world darts right now Ian White the world number 10 the number one seed here 180 but he can't stop hop because he's on to complete a ruthless relentless victory with back to back 11 darters Double 18 to do just that. An ice. Game shot and the match. A quite delightful cake. A wonderful performance from Max Hopp, who's averaged in the end 119. That is his personal best by a long, long way. Ian White only got two legs despite averaging 111 himself. Hop has just produced what is actually the third highest average that we've ever seen in these players' championship events since we started streaming them live. Max Hop with a simply stunning performance to book his place in the last 16, defeats the number one seed Ian White 6-2. I'll say it again, the average, 119. Wow.